What's up everyone? It's Roby One and it's 420 Special Edition and a happy Thanksgiving. I'm over here at a town memorial in Southbridge, Mass. that holds Masonic value and a man that had received the Medal of Honor with the upside down star that did Bill Ted Mendez with Rob Putnam. Those flowers are of secret society symbols. And there's also Leviathan leaves right there in the corners. That refers to them. And today we're going to introduce the Green Man. Speculatory analysis of the mud flood. And pillar deciphery. Because there's a lot of pillars I've been showing. And, and one thing you're going to realize that none of them are the same. Deposit stone and look at the, the texture on it. Like, what did they use to carve that? Dragons with the violin leaves. I lived in Southbridge, Mass. for, I don't know, 20 years or more, and I didn't notice this until about seven years ago. And there's the dragon eggs with the dragon claws. Look at the, the, the sunlight going into there. There's more of them over here. Another dragon inside the end of these pillars. And up in there, there's those triple circles that are linked together, which I don't know exactly what that means. I haven't gone deep enough into that yet. And then there's also another symbol below it. It looks like an S or an H. Uh, pointer to look at this and look at right here. To me, they look like little eyes, like little flappies coming up on each of them. And then in here, the flowers. And then right there, I call that the dragon egg and the dragon tail. Some people would call it a scallop molding in a carpenter's world, but the texture on that is like, how did they cut that? Look at it. I don't know what year this was built. I imagine the 1800s, but I haven't. The oldest picture I found was uh, uh, postcards. And over here, here's the green man. This is the one I call stagnancy. You know, see his ears, how they're like very dormant, and then there's those little, what I call some kind of creatures, and these are the little flappers that cover their head, maybe. There's a flower, these secret societies were obsessed with flowers, and then up top, the scallop molding. Now let's look at the other side, because on the other side over there is the stimulus side, is what I would call it. And now there's the green man. Now see his ears right here. And then his mustache. And then his eyes even. Like look at his eyes. It looks like his pupils are dilated. It even uh, the wildness around it, his ears almost present like a flower. And then all around here is more flourished and even the the flap is and then inside here they're showing you some kind of head or I'm telling you, that's some kind of alien stuff going on. And the texture like is it's rough. There's more. I'll show you the whole thing. And then inside, it's got the little circles. It's hard to see it without the light at this point. See them? Eventually, we're gonna dig into that. And then pillars even have a, a different message on them. Each one of them. And look at the middle of that one. And even through the glass, it, it almost presents a 3D effect like it's through the glass. Eventually, we're gonna figure out all these secret symbols. We're gonna do a brief walk around this sky. We look at the mud flood windows. 
And it, you know, what I believe they did is the bottom of this has a stone foundation, but they, these right here, all these blocks were put after, obviously. At one point, then windows were open. Now this building, the side of it has a cult symbolism too, the, the church. Really nice stained glass at night. I don't know if it's the original. And I tell you right now, Southbridge is rich in history. I was just reading a book, The Honest Tales of Southbridge. A true honest town, I think they called it. All mud flood windows going the whole way down. The whole way down. I've never really looked at this side. The turret. This building has these cool things at the bottom right there. See them? I like to use that on my structure. Up there, a flower in between the, the keystone, and then up there, I haven't counted them, but I'm sure it's a specific number for a reason. The uh, that blew off at once. There was a, a steeple at the top of that church. Now look at the opening in this. It looks like a giant could walk through that easily. It really makes you wonder. Look at the stained glass windows up there. I've never looked at the town, no. Today's a good day to look at it because they're all sitting home eating turkey, getting fat. No one's worried about me right now. It's just me in the town hall in Southbridge, Mass. Them bricks are very old, possibly looking older than them. I'm going to make my way the whole way around. They also talked about Malcolm Amidown's sword. And if you've ever been to the town manager's uh, office in this town hall on the way down, there's a sword that doesn't have a name, but in the history book, it talks about a symbol that was on it that knew it was from Massachusetts, and they sent it back. And it's my theory that possibly that's his sword, and... The Amadowns have big history in Southbridge. Let's step really back. They're the ones I believe who funded Chester Dresser. There's some kind of thing way up top at the peak there. I'd like to get a really close look at that. It must have looked cool when this had the actual windows and if this is truly a mud flood and that was everything that was dug out after. That means at one point this level went further down. This structure is huge. They probably say this was built in two years. I, I'm definitely already debating that. Make a whole way around the town hall here. Get <clears throat> more mud flood windows. Look at right over there too. Well, let's not talk about that, you know. Up here at the top is one of those hands with a ball. The top of the turret. Exquisite work done. Eventually I'll have everything memorized. Here's another turret. Some people say this is Tartarian. And the whole way around, it's a mud flood building. This one is too. I can see it right there. And there's part of a turret that could have possibly been knocked off. And if you ever looked at the history book, see there was something right here at one point too that's covered up. You can tell that was a presentation that's new, a brick right there. There must have been some huge window. And then those stars that are in that little handrail, that's a big symbol of the Freemasons. Up there is the, the check is there too. Let's look at these stained glass windows. This thing is well built for horse and carriage days. Look at the, the lentils above each one of these windows. Up there, there's some kind of symbolism. Let's see if we can step back and illumination is off within the recording from what I'm seeing it. We'll do a full circle. Another steeple. Oh, well, let's look over there. All them buildings right down there. Mud flood. 
I get pictures of the inside of some of them buildings. There's those symbols again on that building. That's a Masonic symbol. I'll bet my life on that. Any Mason who wants to debate that, I'm challenging you right now. If you even know it or even recognize it. But I think part of the mud flood theory was based on the fact that there were giants in the See these stairs are obviously newer. At one point these must have been huge doors and, and I believe giants could walk through them. And those wooden doors are newer than from the original structure. These are my theories. A lot of the windows are gone. And I haven't even begun to get into this stuff. And I've, that's the debate already on history. Look at the town, the houses all around this, like I tell you, around the town halls, around the, uh, the hospitals, or any of the original things they control. This whole street has Masonic value. Everyone have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll be one until the next video. I'm out.